Hi, this is Derek again. We're going to talk a little bit more about Grammarly. So now that you've got your Grammarly account, you want to set it up so that it automatically checks your Microsoft Word and it checks your uh, Yahoo comments or any kind of comments that you use in Chrome. So this is the uh, Grammarly homepage. If you click on apps, you'll see that you can download both the Grammarly for Chrome, Grammarly, and Grammarly for Microsoft Office. I don't use the Grammarly for Windows. I mainly just use it for these two. And since I've already got it uh, on, installed, then uh, it doesn't say install for mine, but it should say for yours. And as you can see, I've got it up here in the top right, it's a uh, Chrome extension. And we'll go ahead and use, uh, use Yahoo Sports as an example. So you can see that I'm typing a comment here. Hi, I'm so cool. Look at me. If you click on it, it'll say correct. And then, oh, that's what I meant to say. So you click back on the Yahoo article and it's automatically up. Then you just click post and you're good to go. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Word document. So here's kind of the old school way of using spelling and grammar. To be honest with you, I, I'm really not too uh, excited about the Microsoft Word processor as far as grammar is concerned. But it would go through and this is kind of how it would usually work. And this document I have on here is actually the demo document from Grammarly. But if I go to home, and I've already installed the Grammarly extension for Microsoft Word, but I hit enable Grammarly. You'll see that it's checking, and it's checking for these things over here. It's actually checking using the general default, but if you're writing an academic paper, you're probably going to want to use one of these to get a more in-depth analysis of your writing. But as you can see, it's really, really nice over here on the right. It tells you what critical issues there are. I mean when it comes to commas and quotation marks and all kinds of stuff it's awesome like faulty parallelism parallelism that's a hard word to say and it gives you examples it talks about more and what do you want to do you can fix it you don't have to fix it uh, and you can click these off if you want click them back on I like vocabulary enhancement because sometimes when I'm writing I use some of the the same words over and over again and it helps me to really get like, into it so for example over word you uh, overused word serious so okay grave sounds like a great idea but Grammarly is an awesome program and uh, I highly recommend it for anybody trying to put together some professional work